All right, we begin here. The National Assembly will next week debate a motion of no confidence in President Cyril Ramaphosa. Uh, the motion of no confidence in the president was brought by the African Transformation Movement, ATM. Uh, the National Assembly will also hold a snap debate around issues affecting the SABC. The debate on issues at the public broadcaster has been uh, sponsored by the IFP. The Secretary to the National Assembly, Masbule Letraso, says... Uh, the Speaker has uh, approved both matters. Uh, the SABC debate will be on Tuesday, while the motion of no confidence in the President uh, will be on Thursday. All right, and uh, for more now on uh, the SABC SNAP debate, we are now joined by the IFP's Narend Singh. A very good afternoon to you, sir. Thank you so very much for joining us here on SABC News this afternoon. Good afternoon, Flo, and good afternoon to your viewers, and thank you. As a start, what, what drew the IFP to, to, to request this urgent or, or, or snap a debate in uh, the National Assembly with regards uh, to, to the SABC? Well, having received a report from my member on that uh, portfolio committee, the Honorable Majosi, uh, one realized as a caucus under the leadership of Prince Mangasudu Butelezi that this impasse is not going to be resolved soon and that there are a number of factors at play here and it, it is incumbent upon the minister to also listen and for government to also listen to members of different political parties express their views on what is happening at the SABC and how important the SABC is uh, to South Africa and for that matter to the rest of Africa. Yeah. And, and what would the contribution of uh, the, the, the IFP then be to this conversation, to this debate, to this impasse? I mean, what are the sort of main issues or perhaps questions that the IFP wants to uh, still put forward that maybe haven't uh, already uh, been raised? As I'm sure you are aware, there are conversations already happening uh, with the different unions, uh, in particular the NWU, who are in conversation with the board, with, uh, with the Minister of uh, Communications. So I'd really like to know what would the input of the IFP be that would perhaps be different or, or, or maybe would be more helpful uh, at this time. No, thank you for that, Flo. Flo, well, you know, I sat on the ad hoc committee that dealt with the SABC yeah. uh, in the fifth parliament, and one of the recommendations that, that arose was that the SABC needs to look at its staffing complement, and it seemed to be top-heavy at that time, with the number of staff being appointed by the then COO. But having said that, we feel that in, in implementing that particular resolution, there needs to be honesty and transparency. And, you know, we reveal that the board, on the one hand, and the, the unions are conflicted in that they're trying to talk about their own issues. Mm. And what we are going to be proposing, amongst others, that one gets an independent consultant or firm of consultants that are au fait with matters of uh, media, look at the SABC, look at the staff structure, and make recommendations that will be independent and that will advise the way forward. But we must choose somebody that has the backing and the support of both the SABC board and, and, and the, uh, the, the, the unions. In that way, we will we'll get an objective answer. And I think the minister herself has to be directed by that kind of response. So that is something that we will be looking at. We know that you know, there's concern about the use of consultants that, are, uh, that, that the SABC has. We, there's concern about the hiring of venues during COVID lockdown. Yeah. And we feel that if the SABC board and union come together, sharpen their pencils and are honest in their deliberations, this impasse can be solved in the interest of South Africans and the rest of Africa. You know, you talk about uh, an independent uh, consultant, uh, Mr. Singh. A as a start, I w um, the concern I would have is uh, another cost uh, then to, to, to the SABC. Uh, but apart from that, uh, one might think about the fact that uh, those who would know the goings on of uh, the SABC would be the ones already uh, in, in the building. I'm wondering if you already have started to think of names of these independent consultants that you're thinking about, uh, as, I, as I think about the fact that the people who would know exactly what's needed and, and perhaps what's not needed would be the people that are actually inside the building. Well, we haven't started giving any thought and we haven't had, uh, we haven't consulted anybody, but I think with the wisdom of Parliament, the Minister, the Board uh, and the unions, one could come up with those kind of people who have had the experience 
in working within the SABC and who are not anymore there and from the outside can see exactly what is happening inside. You see, far too often individuals think they have the solutions to all the problems. We need collective thinking and collective responsibility because we cannot allow a public broadcaster uh, you know, uh, to, to, to be run in the manner that it is run uh, currently. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry to hijack you just uh, a little bit uh, here, Mr. Singh. I'm sure you would know there are two issues that I spoke about uh, just before coming to you, and that is, of course, uh, the ATM, the party ATM uh, launching a motion of no confidence. That's another debate that will be taking place uh, next week. And I, and I wonder, what is the is there an opinion or is there uh, something that the IFP has to add uh, to this, uh, this debate that will be taking place then next week, the other one, as opposed to the uh, SABC one that we've been to? discussing well politicians are known to be hijacked flow and <laughs> i forgive you for that yes uh, this motion was first placed on the table in february of this year when circumstances at that time might have warranted uh, this kind of motion of no confidence to be brought before parliament for debate but having said that we as the ifp believe that uh, uh, the president and the executive have not performed to the uh, optimum ability there are a number of shortcomings, there are a number of cabinet ministers which we feel are not pulling their weight. There have been serious challenges with regard to COVID-19, but all in all, our view is that the current president, President Ramaphosa, has steered the ship to the best of his ability. He may have internal problems within his party, but he needs to know and the country needs to know that he will have support of people who would like to put country first before corruption and any other misdemeanors. So uh, we will consider our support uh, or not, but I would likely think that we would support the current president in the manner that he's conducting things, albeit that things could be done better and we are there to offer our assistance to make things better if he so desires. All right, uh, Mr. Singh, thank you indeed for indulging me there. That is the IFP uh, Chief Whip, uh, Mr. Naren Singh.